lesson, let's continue with module 3, Computers and Mobile Devices, Evaluating Options for Home and uh, Work. Okay. So first, uh, try to recall back. Last time, uh, I have mentioned a few types of computers. So today, we try to go in details uh, for each type. So type uh, of computers and mobile devices include uh, laptops, tablets, and desktop, uh, servers and terminals, smartphones, digital cameras, e-book readers, portable and digital media players, and wearable devices game devices and embedded device uh, embedded uh, computers okay these are what we have uh, gone through in the first module okay so a mobile computer is a portable personal computer designed so that a user easily can carry it from place to place so a personal computer is a mobile computer or desktop that can perform all of its input, processing, output and storage activities by itself and is intended to be used by one person at a time. Okay, let's look at this one. Okay, so these are the examples of mobile computers and desktop. So mobile uh, computers and mobile devices. Okay, so we have this one servers, wearable devices, smartphone, okay, uh, desktop, tablet, laptops, okay. So, a uh, laptop, also called notebook, okay, some people call it notebook computer. It's a thin, lightweight mobile computer with a screen in its lid and a keyboard in its base, okay. So, traditionally, we have uh, this kind of laptop. And then uh, nowadays, this more to ultra thin laptop. Okay. Next tablet is a thin, lighter weight mobile computer that has a touch screen. <coughs> okay. Uh, examples of slate and uh, convertible tablets. Okay. This is convertible tablet. Uh, which means you can detach it. Okay, this is a uh, slate tablet instant, stylus, okay, magnetic keyboard uh, cover. Okay. Okay, next we have also a handheld computer, which is a small, a computer small enough to fit in one hand. Usually we can see this in supermarket. Okay. Uh, that enables uh, warehouse employees to take inventory and check supplies okay uh, by just scanning the barcode okay um, okay another one is stick computer small computer which usually is the same size as or a little larger than USB flash drive okay approximately the same size as USB flash drive and can connect to a HDMI port on a TV or computer monitor. Okay, desktop. Uh, desktop computer is a personal computer designed to be in stationary location. Okay, biasanya orang tak, tak bawa lah. Pergi uh, mana-mana, just uh, static je. Okay, that's what we mean uh, by stationary location where all of its component fits uh, fit on or under a desk or table. Desktop with a tower shown in this figure is a Windows computer and all in one is a Mac computer. Okay, on your left is uh, <coughs> this one Windows, menggunakan operating system Windows and this one using uh, Mac. Okay, so this one is called all in one. Okay, why it is called all in one? Because everything is inside one body. Maksudnya, uh, for this one, for example, if we compare the left one, got CPU outside but this one everything is inside this uh, one body okay on the left you have monitor you have keyboard you had you have desktop okay and then this one you just have keyboard mouse okay uh, speaker and then everything all in one okay next <coughs> try to look at uh, servers okay what is server actually so, as I said in our previous module, server is when you request something from your web, 
okay so you actually generate a request to the server when you press a button submit or everything on your web you actually uh, sending a request to a server so a server is a computer dedicated to providing one or more services to other computers or devices on a network so we have a red server blade server and tower server okay you can refer to the figure okay this is a red server this is blade server and this one is tower server okay three types of servers and then <coughs> If we look at uh, this one, dedicated servers, okay, so we have another types of category of servers, okay, and the main service provided by each type. Okay, we have application server, stores and runs applications, backup server to backup and restore files, folders and media database server to store and provide access to database okay nanti you akan belajar apa itu database domain name server to store domain name and their corresponding ip address file server or storage server to store and manage file uh, ftp server store files for user upload or download via file transfer protocol okay biasanya kalau you ada you biasa guna uh, satu website yang mana user can upload Contohnya lagu dan juga boleh download dalam masa yang sama. Lagu yang orang lain uh, upload itu adalah uh, apa ni? some services provided by FTP server. Game server provide a central location for online gaming. Home server provide storage, internet connection or other services to computers and devices in a household. List server storage and manage email list. Mail server stores and delivers email messages. Network server manage network traffic. Print server manage printers and documents being printed. Web server stores and delivers requested web pages to a computer uh, via a browser. Okay, ni yang saya sebut uh, last time. The one that I mentioned last time. Okay, bila you click uh, butang submit uh, daripada salah satu web page. Dia sebenarnya kita... Uh, send a request to the web server. Okay, virtualization is the practice of sharing or pooling computing resources such as servers and storage devices. Server, okay, what is server virtualization? Okay, server virtualization use software to enable a physical server to emulate the hardware and computing capabilities of one or more servers known as virtual servers. A server farm is a network of Several servers together in a single location. Okay, bila kita sebut server farm, maksudnya collection of a few servers. Okay, cooperate uh, to, together in a single location. So, another term is mainframe. Mainframe is a large, expensive, powerful server that can handle hundreds or thousands of connected user simultaneously. Okay, bila kita sebut mainframe, ia adalah sejenis server yang sangat besar powerful dan mahal yang boleh handle 100 or 1000 user uh, connected user simultaneously okay next we move to uh, the term terminals okay a terminal is a computer usually with limited processing power that enables users to send data to an or or receive information from a server or host computer a thin client is a terminal that looks like a desktop but has limited capabilities and components. Most retail stores use a point of service terminal to record purchases, process credit or uh, credit or debit card and update inventory. Okay. So POS is point of sales. Okay, point of sales terminals. Okay, uh next. Okay, uh, if you can see from this figure, uh, many grocery stores offer self-service checkouts where consumers use POS terminals to scan purchases, scan their store or saver card and cup uh, coupons and then pay for the goods. Okay, this is one example of terminal and also the ATM machine, uh, automated 
Telemachine is a self-service banking terminal that connects to a host computer through a network. Okay, allows customer to access their bank accounts. So actually, we have uh, this definition for the terminals. A self-service kiosk is a freestanding terminal that usually has a touch screen for user interaction. So uh, the terminals, there are uh, a few types of terminals. Okay. So listed in this figure, in this uh, table, sorry. So uh, financial kiosk, uh, the type services, uh, the typical services provided uh, are to pay bills, uh, add money to prepare cards and phone plans, perform other financial activities. And also a second one is photo kiosk. We can print photos from digital images, allow editing or digit, uh, of digital photos. User may print directly at the kiosk or may send an order to a photo lab to be printed. Okay, ticket kiosk uh, to print the ticket located in airports, uh, okay. amusement, parks, movie theaters, rental companies and train station. Okay, contoh di station LRT. Uh, dekat airport kita ada, kita boleh print kita punya tiket sendiri. Itu adalah tiket kiosk. And then vending kiosk, a dispense item after payment is received. As, uh, examples include DVD rentals and license plate renewables. Uh, <coughs> renewals. Okay, then visitor kiosk, manage and track visitors upon check-in. Located in businesses, police stations, school, hospitals and other areas where access is controlled or registration is required. Okay, next we move to supercomputers. Okay, a supercomputer is the fastest, most powerful computer and the most expensive, which is capable of processing many trillions of instructions in a single station. Okay. Uh, dia punya tahap kelajuan tu memang boleh proses uh, berbilion instruction in a single second dalam masa satu saat. Okay, next we have uh, the cloud computing uh, term. Okay, so cloud computing refers to an environment that provides resources and services assessed via the internet. Okay, macam you simpan data dekat Google Drive, dekat Dropbox. Okay, so itu adalah sebahagian daripada cloud computing. Okay, next, uh, mobile devices. Okay, so before that, uh, Okay, users assess resources on the cloud through their internet connection. Okay, so this usually provided by the uh, super uh, supercomputers tadi lah. Okay, and then uh, next we move to, okay, still in mobile devices. Okay, smartphone is uh, one type of uh, mobile devices. It is an internet capable phone that usually includes calendar, address book, calculator, notepad games, browser and numerous other applications. So many smartphones okay, have touch screens instead of uh, or in addition to an on-screen keyboard. Some have a built-in mini keyboard on the front of the phone or a keyboard that slides in and out from behind the phone. Okay, so uh, smartphones kan ni semua orang tahu. Uh, dia touch screen lah. Okay, so mobile devices. Okay, a variety of options for typing on a smartphone. Okay, on-screen keyboard. Okay, bila kita nak type uh, message yang keluar dekat screen tu adalah on-screen keyboard. Okay, swipe uh, keyboard application, mini keyboard. Okay, macam dulu kita ada apa? Blueberry. Blueberry black. Uh, okay, dulu kita ada blackberry. Swipe uh, keyboard application, mini keyboard. Okay. Then, uh, key, uh, we have keypad. Okay, kalau dekat remote control, kita ada keypad. Okay, uh, or slide out keyboard. Okay, portable keyboard, virtual keyboard and speech to text. Okay, so these are variety of options for typing on the smartphone. Okay, um, next, okay, about mobile devices. Okay, we have a... Uh, the term SMS, so everybody knows. SMS, uh, short message service, mobile to mobile, mobile to email, mobile to provider, web to mobile. And also we have uh, multimedia message services, okay, MMS, mobile to mobile, mobile to email. Okay. okay. 
So next mobile device is a digital camera. It's a mobile device that allows users to take photos and store the photograph image digitally. Okay, smart. We have the smart digital camera, point and shoot camera, and SLR camera. So SLR digital cameras have lenses and other attachment, whereas the lenses on point and shoot cameras are built into the uh, device. So many smartphones also have built-in digital cameras. Okay, so you can see, uh, okay, camera in smartphone. Okay, uh, smart digital camera, SLR camera, point and shoot ke, uh, camera. Okay, ni yang paling awal lah. Okay, point and shoot camera. Okay, so SLR camera means single lens. Reflex camera, single lens, uh, reflex camera. Um, okay, next we move to. Okay, how a digital camera work? Okay. Okay, this is uh, how point and shoot digital camera might work. Okay, ni yang mula-mula sekali. Uh, uh, keluar lah saya rasa dulu ok, mula-mula saya kenal digital camera yang ni lah, point and shoot digital camera uh, first step one point to the image to photograph and take the photo light passes into the lens of the camera the image is focused on a chip called charge couple device ok then, uh, okay, in short we call it CCD the CCD generates an analog signal that represent the image the analog signal is converted to a digital signal by an analog to digital converter. And then a processor in the camera adjusts the quality of the image and usually stores the digital photo on media inserted to the camera. Okay. Okay. So, dia ada macam memory card lah. Okay. Dalam uh, point and shoot digital camera. Okay. Next, when we talk about uh, camera... Okay, we have the term resolution. Okay, resolution is actually the number of horizontal and vertical pixels in a display. So, the smallest element in an electronic image. Okay, semakin uh, banyak pixel tu, semakin jelas lah uh, image yang kita uh, ambil. Kita tangkap gambar tu. So, sebab tu orang uh, selalu bercakap tentang megapixel, proper pixel gambar tu. Okay. Okay, next. Uh, we move to media, a portable media player. It's a mobile device on which you can store, organize and play or view digital camera. Okay, portable media player with touch screen. Bila you nak dengar lagu, okay, dekat phone. Okay. Uh, portable media player with touch sensitive pad. So, we, uh, usually we, we use earbuds, okay? Portable media player with button control, okay? Some portable media player have touch screen, others have touch sensitive pads or button that enable you to assess your media library. Uh, yang mana you boleh simpan, you punya uh, lagu untuk didengar. A digital media player or streaming media player is a device typically used in a home that streams digital media from a computer or network to a television, projector or some other uh, entertainment device. Okay. Okay, still under mobile devices, we have e-book reader. Okay, short for electronic book reader or e-reader is a mobile device that is used primarily for reading e-books and other digital publication. Okay, itu adalah gambar e-books. Then, uh, another type of uh, mobile devices is a wearable device. Okay, or wearable is a small mobile computing device designed to be worn by a consumer. Okay, contoh smartwatch, wirelessly communicate with compatible smartphone, activity tracker, communicate with health fitness application on smartphone. Okay, kadang-kadang uh, kita pakai uh, jam untuk check kita punya uh, heartbeat berapa, kita punya uh, apa, uh, blood pressure berapa. 
So, three popular wearable devices include activity trackers. Okay, contohnya kita, uh, berapa langkah kita berjalan hari ini itu adalah activity trackers yang kita pakai. Dia macam jam. And then smartwatch. Okay, macam-macam ada dekat smartwatch tu. Boleh simpan macam-macam nota. Boleh simpan uh, videos. And also we have smart uh, glasses. Okay, smart glasses respond to voice instruction to assess apps. Okay, then we move to game devices. Okay, go, uh, game console is a mobile computing device designed for a single player or multiplayer video. Uh, and a handheld game device is a small mobile device that contains screens, speakers, controls and game console all in one unit. So, game controllers include game pads, uh, joysticks and wheels, dance pads and a variety of motion sensing controllers. Okay. Ini adalah contoh-contoh game devices. So, okay, mungkin you all lebih tahu lah. Okay. You all biasa main game kan. Uh, okay. So, game pad, joystick, uh, pedals and wheels, dance pad, motion sensing game controller. Okay. Balance board. Okay. Uh, gamers have a variety of ways to direct movement and action of on-screen object. Okay. Embedded computers. Uh... An embedded computer is a special purpose computer that functions as a component in a larger product. Okay, for example, consumer electronics, home automation devices, automobiles, process controllers, and robotics, computer devices, and office machine. Okay, so let's see one by one. Okay, some of the embedded computers designed to improve your safety, security, and performance in today's vehicles. Okay, for example... You can consider a car. Okay, we have uh, advanced airbag system. Okay, have crash severity sensors that determine the appropriate level to inflate the airbag, reducing the chance of airbag injury in low speed accident. Okay, untuk control airbag. Okay, uh, okay. Next, smartphone apps such as OnStar remote link application shown here. Remotely start the engine, unlock doors. Stream music through the vehicle's sound system, display driving direction and more. And then we have also uh, cars equipped with wireless communication capabilities called telematics. Include features such as navigation system, remote diagnosis and alerts and uh, internet access. Next, we have adaptive cruise control system. Detect if vehicles in front of you are too close and if necessary, adjust the vehicle throttle may apply brakes or sound and alarm. Okay, next, uh, tire pressure monitoring system, send warning signal if tire pressure is insufficient. Okay, drive by wire system, ensure a sense pressure on the gas pedal and communicate electronically to the engine how much and how fast to accelerate. Okay, and so on. Okay, next, uh, categories of computers and mobile devices. So, we have seen so far personal computers. Okay, physical size fits on desk. Okay, usually one uh, user at a time. Okay, then the price you can see there. Okay, mobile computers and mobile devices fits on your lap or in your hand. Usually one uh, user also. Game consoles, a uh, number of user, one to several, small box or handheld device. Server, small cabinet to room full of equipment, two to thousands uh, users. Supercomputers, hundred to thousand users, full room of equipment. Embedded computers, miniature, usually one number at a time. Embedded in the price of the product. Okay. Okay, next we move uh, we move to ports and connection. Okay, what is port? So semua orang tahu port. A port is the point at which a peripheral device attached to or communicates with a computer or mobile device so that the peripheral device can send data to or receive information from the computer or mobile device. Okay. So kalau uh, desktop ada port untuk mouse, ada, untuk sambung ke mouse, untuk sambung ke keyboard, sama lah juga dengan ports on a laptop. Okay, port yang mana you boleh uh, connect your pen drive. Okay, you boleh connect your uh, speaker, your microphone. Uh, okay, and similarly for port on your smartphone. Okay, you can uh, attach your uh, earbuds. 
okay, ports on digital camera, ports on a tablet. So almost they have the same function. Okay, to connect to the peripherals. So uh, connector, a connector joins a cable to a port. A connector at one end of a cable attached to a port on the computer or mobile device, and a connector at the end. The, the other end of the cable attached to a port on the peripheral device. Okay, ports and connectors. Ports and connections. Okay, let's look at. Okay, we have uh, any small data uh, computer. Okay, port type, uh, connector, and then port. Okay, so port type, display port, audio for audio or video, itu bentuk connector dia, okay, dan gambar port dia. Connector tu apa yang akan masuk ke uh, ke port tu lah, okay. So, DVI, digital video interface, okay, macam mana rupa connector dia, port, okay. So, you, can, you have all here, HDMI, uh, this is the connector, this is, okay, headphone, okay, dia punya port. Lightning, microphone, micro USB, mini display port, okay, mini USB, mini HDMI, for network, okay, for speaker, for Thunderbolt, USB type A, type B, type C, and then VGA. Okay, so USB type A is mostly seen in computers, uh, USB type B is mostly available in printers, and USB type C uh, is a brand new USB connector, slightly larger than micro uh, USB and flexible than any other kind of USB port. Okay, um, so we have okay for this one. Uh, uh, you can see, uh, you can uh, search uh, for a better picture in the internet. So, yang ni mungkin tak berapa clear. Okay. Uh, perbezaan antara port tu sebab kecil sangat ni. Okay. Uh, then, uh, it's still about port. USB port. Uh, what does it mean by USB? Short for Universal Serial Bus Port. Can connect up to 127 different peripheral devices together with a single connector. Instead of connecting peripheral devices directly to ports on a mobile computer, some mobile users prefer the flexibility of port replicators and docking station. So, what is port replicators and docking station? Okay, this is docking station. Okay, so you have USB port here. Okay, uh, at the docking station. Okay, uh, so... Uh, you don't have to connect the peripheral device directly to the port on mobile device. Okay. Instead, you just use the docking station. Uh, use it, you, you can use the USB port at the docking station. Okay. Next, still about ports and connection. Instead of connecting computers and mobile devices to peripheral devices via a cable, some peripheral devices use wireless communication technologies. Okay. So last time uh, I have mentioned also about Bluetooth, a little bit about Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And then today we have another term that is NFC. NFC means near field communication. Okay, near field communication. So Bluetooth, you, uh, I think most of you know what is Bluetooth uh, to transfer uh, documents, uh, pictures or anything from one device to uh, another device, okay. Wi-Fi, also we have uh, mentioned it before. Okay, what is NFC? Near field communication. Okay, kalau you tengok uh, setengah uh, smartphone, dia ada fungsi, you boleh turn on the NFC. So, NFC, near field communication technology, allows users to make secure transaction, okay, exchange digital content and connect electronic devices with a touch. So, <coughs> It is one of the contact, uh, contactless cards and the most common use uh, NFC technology in your smartphone is to make uh, easy payment. Okay. So, kalau, kalau kita guna uh, NFC ni, 
uh, dia adalah short range technology ok um, dan uh, lebih baik turn off lah uh, kalau kita tak guna benda tu sebab dia boleh buat payment uh, dengan teknologi ni ok next uh, we already discussed this in our previous class protecting hardware Okay, to help reduce the chances of theft, companies and schools use a variety of security measures, physical uh, access control, okay, alarm system, physical security devices, security or device tracking app, require identification. Okay, antaranya kalau dekat universiti kita, kalau bilik yang ada komputer, kita akan uh, lock and we provide the uh, security access dekat pintu. Okay, tu, tu adalah salah satu daripada physical access control dan kita ada alarm system okay, untuk uh, to, to, to identify or to, to know if there is intruder. Uh, okay. Then also to protect our hardware, we can also have or install device tracking application okay, to monitor or to, to identify the location of our device if stolen. Okay, uh, some mobile computers and devices include fingerprint readers which can be used to verify a user's identity. Okay, ni setengah uh, smartphone, dia ada fingerprint reader. Okay, dia hanya recognize fingerprint yang kita dah uh, pre-programkan dalam masa awal-awal tu. Okay. Uh, hardware can fail for a variety of reasons, aging hardware, random events such as electrical power problem or even errors in programs or application. Okay. So, uh, uh, <coughs> so antaranya adalah under voltage, over voltage or power surge. Okay, ni adalah benda-benda uh, yang ataupun perkara-perkara yang menyebabkan errors dalam programs or application due to hardware. Okay, so uh, how to protect uh, one of the approach to use a surge protector. Okay, or sometimes we call it also as a surge suppressor. Use electrical components to provide a stable current flow and minimize the chances of an over voltage reaching the computer and other electronic equipment. Okay. And then we also have uninterruptible power supply, UPS. It's a device that contains surge protection circuit and more or more batteries that can provide power during a uh, power during a temporary or permanent loss of power okay uh, if power fails okay kalau dalam uh, kejadian blackout uh, ataupun uh, sebagainya a uh, ups use batteries to provide electricity for a limited amount of time ni biasanya tempat-tempat company yang critical okay okay next uh, okay we try to look at a little bit about health concern using technology so last time also I have put some question and then you have give your opinions. So okay, uh, one of the health concern is a repetitive strain injury (RSI) is an injury or disorder of the muscles, nerve, tendons, ligaments, and joints. Okay, so we have um, okay RSI due to using technology. So we have a uh, computer vision syndrome is a technology related health condition that affects eyesight. Okay, ergonomics is an applied science devoted to incorporating comfort, efficiency and safety into the design of items in the workplace. So the term ergonomics ni adalah satu um, science yang me, uh, menyumbang ke arah uh, penghasilan uh, ataupun uh, mereka bentuk apa uh, mesin ataupun komponen-komponen uh, yang berkaitan dengan IT supaya lebih selesa untuk digunakan, lebih selamat dan lebih efisien. Okay, so technology addiction occurs when the technology consumes someone's entire social life. Okay, so last one, uh, this is the health concern of using technology. Okay, ni pun uh, last time kita dah discuss ada some of you dah bagi ni uh, fit flat on the floor bila nak gunakan uh, computer make sure fit flat on floor okay, keyboard height uh, 23 to 28 inches depending on the height of the user okay. viewing angle 20 degree to center of screen viewing distance 18 to 28 inches okay, jarak dia angle dia 
arms uh, elbow at above 90 degree and arms and hands appropriately parallel to the floor adjustable height chair with four or five legs for stability okay bergantung kepada ketinggian juga okay so uh, that's all about uh, module three we should be covered in uh, this week